let's talk a little bit about, uh, to, to follow up from that about the director writer relationship perhaps when it particularly when it comes to to dramaturgy you say that you you want the writer there as the expert of text um but text is a very big word it, it contains a lot of things everything from you know just the style of dialogue to the overall structure of a piece mm -hmm. um how do you work out do you leave the drama test to to work out the structure of the piece do you go in and say no actually this needs to have such and such you need to have an aristotelian dramaturgy or a mm. circular dramaturgy like how, how does that relationship work mm. it usually evolves out of discussing the theme um, and it is the the writers uh, uh, it is the writers decision and but it's not that we we never agree on it. It's like I I never say, "Ooh, I would like to have a circle dramaturgy." I would never say that because it is the theme of the play, the theme which is deciding, and it, it usually comes quite easy. Um, so the writer is structuring. Um, but when uh, we did Houseman City uh, this uh, year, uh, I was uh, structuring, but I worked with uh, Henriette Vedel as a dramatist and a dramaturg. So she was both uh, helping me with organizing the text that I wrote and also writing herself and uh, being a dramaturg while I was kind of the main writer um, or I was driving the force for that for that piece. So it um, uh, yeah, it can it can uh, differ from project to project. But I think that uh, all in all, it is. Um, the expert of text is usually uh, the person. We choose that person because we like that person's perception of theatre. We like that person's way of experimenting with text or the way of writing. So, so we, um, it's sort of a matchmake. We, there's a matchmaking in the very beginning, which is very important. I think if you end up, if you just, if you start, if the director starts to too early starts to like juggle around a lot i think it's not it's not the i think it can be dangerous for the the result but it's your uh this this cho this choice of, of who you're going to work with that is mm. it's generally your choice or it's the you run the company together with an actress who, and you produce together it's, it's two of you kind of saying this is the person we want to work with yeah it's been like that with hege of edelstern who mm. i run with uh who's an actor and then we we usually have good discussions about um, in the beginning, like what type of theme or what type of dramatist we'd like to work with, and then uh, and then we ask, uh, and then sometimes the dramatist could uh, 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 could give us the theme, say like I'm working on this type of project, maybe this is, could, could be something for Vega Sena, maybe this could be something for the company camping, or the opposite around that we have a theme and mm. we say, oh, I really like to do a play about time. You know who should write that and then we talk to different people and and sort of uh you have to find that meeting point between uh the dramatist who kind of is curious on the theme and our curiosity how do you find these people the playwrights where do you go looking well they live around here <laughs> <laughs> well they are everywhere um you there's a really good a meeting point at the dramatic in yeah the, the, uh, in the national norwegian play development center yeah yeah uh, they have uh, a very good overview of, of the people who are writing for theatre in or Norway right now. Mm. So sometimes we could go to them and we can talk to them and then they will say, well, yeah, I think you should talk to Fredrik Bratvaig or you should talk to Toril Solvang or you should talk to... Or it might be just people that we have gotten to see, see shows from and that we got in, curious on. And mm. then we talk to them and then they'd like to work with us or not. Do you ever work with international writers, or have you worked with Norwegian writers only? I've only worked with Norwegian writers, I'm afraid. Hmm. But because you produce here, that's natural, yeah, that's and in, in the Norwegian yeah, language. Yeah, we have we've been looking at some Danish dramatists, hmm. um, but we haven't. They haven't happened yet. But we are open to to do that. We have um, produced. Um, we have also produced um, uh, Eva Lindholm's play. Uh, based on uh, Anne Hebelin's uh, novel. Yeah, she's a Swedish writer, right? She's a Swedish writer. So we have produced that one for a uh, festival, mm. in the Winterdys Festivalen, mm. uh, once. Uh, but apart from that, we haven't worked like 
process based on with any international writers yet yet <laughs> yet <laughs> and this approach that you have this very uh, open very curious approach to writers this this desire to find the best writer uh, do you think that's uh, do, do, do you see that in, in in the rest of the Norwegian theater scene or hmm. uh, to know I I think there's um, it's difficult to talk about other people what other people do I find um, I think there's some uh, theater directors or theater leaders uh, that are very uh, that very well work with their dramaturgs uh, and try to get uh, playwrights into their houses um, so yeah I think I think there is someone looking for uh, for for uh, for writers but I think it's easier for a director and a writer to meet up and to do a project then then a theatre leader should go via dramaturg, going out to the world, finding that drama dramatist, getting it into the house, starting to write, and then start to find a director, and, and for that match to be really good. I think it's, it's a longer way. I'm not saying it's not happening or that it's not possible. I'm just saying that I, uh, it just from looking at how many people that needs to talk uh, before those people who are going to work together actually meet, it's quite a lot. So there's more, there's more um, uh, bureaucracy in sort of getting the new uh, dramatists in, pro in, in, in production. So um, actually, perhaps the, the, it's a better marketplace in many ways for, um, it's a very commercial word, but, but mm. there's a better marketplace for writers in the independent scene. It's easier to meet people, to get things produced there than trying to get it into the big houses. Yeah, it might be if you're. Uh, it depend, uh, depends what how you, how you come to write for theatre. But because some people come to write for theatre because they've been actors, or maybe they've been directors, and maybe they already have already have a network, and then that's something that they can use, and maybe they can get to the big stages. Uh, but there is a lot of people out in the outside the big houses that are interested in taking bigger risks and sort of interesting in jumping into new projects which can be uh, you know very experimental or that you can as a dramatist get to test out some things so I guess there's uh, there's if you want to produce quickly and you get in get in production maybe that's a good way good way to start at least um, but you always have this thing with money as well because uh, very few people in uh, outside the main houses can afford to to pay a proper uh, full uh, wage for a, for a play um, and of course that's that's a problem and this is, it shouldn't be like that it should be like that if you produce a play or you direct or you, you act in a project outside the big houses you should be able to have um, the same wage as in the houses it shouldn't be such a big difference because then I think you would have a a big uh, uh, flow of of um, of artists and really good projects that would, would meet a larger audience um, out there.